morning guys welcome back to another vlog if you're new here welcome if you're not welcome back let's get into today's video so today's another daily cause episode and as you can see i'm feeling cute I'm looking cute i feel like i'm giving president's wife it's been like put together see like i told you guys that's one of the things i'm working on is just being put together at all times wherever i'm going look like somebody raised you look like you didn't get dragged up out your house anyways today we got a little day um number one i'm going to meet my sister quickly she's starting a new business at chart and i want to support so i'm about to go get something done you know me always doing something and then i do want to go into central london because i want to go into zara i saw this pink two piece i really want pink is a bit bright if they have white i might get white but if they have pink i might just get pink i want to grab some lunch and i just want to just be outside the whole week i've not been wanting to be nowhere but today i want to be outside so that's what we're gonna do I feel like i look super cute obviously got on my glueless unit from go glueless i got this dress on which i don't know where it's from but trust me this is how i'm trying to dress i'm trying to do the sandro style dresses self-portrait style dresses like that's the vibe i'm on and i'm wearing my sambas i will show you a proper fit check probably later but i'm feeling cute looking cute i smell so good when i tell you i smell like money i got delina on i got tom ford on I got Juliet has a gun. I've got Mason France. I mixed all my expensive perfumes and I smell like something you've never smelled before. But it's one of them ones, if I walk past you, you're gonna be like, oh, that's exactly what I wanted. I'm in a great mood, looking good, feeling fresh. Too blessed to be stressed, you know the motto. We're gonna get into today's vlog. I really hope this vlog is a good one and I hope it's a long one as well because I wanna start dropping vlogs that are 40 plus minutes. But then when I edit it, it's like I cut out so much things because I just be like, um, 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 and I know you guys don't wanna hear that so I'll be cropping out so much. But let's hope that today could be a nice lengthy vlog. I got pearls in and all like, it's giving. It's given, it's given a certain man's wife if you ask me. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna tune in with you guys later. And yeah, just enjoy this Daily Cause episode. Hey guys, I'm at Lip Clinic in London and I decided to get some filler today. I'm trying to look different. That's what I told my practitioner. I'm trying to look different. I'm trying to get some Cupid's bow. Do you feel like I need Cupid's bow? Because I feel like I do have some already, but I could do with a bit of volume. I want to get some Cupid's bow filler. I don't feel like I need it. But you don't need a lot, but just a bit. Of a volume. little volume. And then I also want to do some in my jaw. I really want my jaw a bit more pointy. Not too much, but just a little. Snatch I want to get it. I want to get snatched up. And then a little bit of fat dissolving here. So we're going to see how the results are. I'm not going to vlog during the process. You guys will see it at the end. I didn't even show you guys an outfit of the day. Like I said, I'm wearing this dress. I don't really remember where it's from, but it's giving that vibe. It's giving self-portrait. It's giving Sandro. It's giving Revolve. This is what the dress is looking like. A very long dress. Very cute. Very my vibe. I'm trying to step into. I got my sambas on. That's how my sambas are looking. I'm not really a trainer and a dress person. I think it looks weird, but for some reason, this actually looks quite nice. So I opted for this today. I feel like it's really cute. Got my glueless wig from Go Glueless that I showed you guys. My rich auntie type wig. I think it looks quite nice. Um, the curls have definitely dropped, but they haven't dropped too much, so that's cute. They're gonna get food, guys. I'm so hungry. Looked at me. Don't mind her, cause she's paying anyway. We going to get food. We get a lamb chop. I had lamb chops. Wait, whoa, whoa, when was the last time I had lamb chops? I can't remember. I've been eating Lebanese more than lamb chops. I ain't had Lebanese in a while though, which is good. I'm getting lamb chops, that's what I want. I want some Turkish, I want some lamb chops. I do want to head to Oxford Street and go to Zara because there's this pink two-piece that I saw. Let me see if I can get a picture of it on the app. I really want to get this black pink two-piece, but obviously if I have white, then I'll get white. However, I felt like the pink was really cute, so I want to get the pink. I don't wear the pink with that. I just think the pink is really girly. That's why I wanted to get pink. I think the pink was cute. This is the two-piece in white. I turn on the brightness so you guys can see. That's so cute. Let me show you it in pink. Pink is not as flattering, but on me, you know I'm gonna get a size smaller, so it's gonna look cute. This ain't cute to me. Yeah, why I can wear my sambas, but I wanna go get this today. What's in my basket? Oh, I love these leopard print heels. When I went, when me and Crystal went to lunch at Christopher's, I went into Zara looking for these leopard print and animal print heels. These. My toes ain't done right now, so I don't really feel comfortable trying them on in public. But if I see them and they're in my size, which is a 7 or an 8 in from Zara, then I'll get them. I also saw this midi dress that I got in pink for my birthday in Paris. They got it in white. And that pink one actually looked quite nice on me. 
So I was thinking to get it in white as well. But that's it, that's it for my Zara basket. I don't really shop on Zara too tough and there's nothing really in there that I want. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. I need some new makeup, but I like ordering from Sephora because Sephora will be having them little discounts. And Sephora got the things that the shops don't have. Like, I've never seen one size in the store apart from Sephora. Actually, you no, know, even the Sephora in White City didn't have one size or they were out of stock or something. But anyways, yeah, that's what we're gonna do, girl. When I tell you I am hungry, I am absolutely stuck. I came back home quickly because I wanted to just quickly freshen up and I wanted to take a different route to go Oxford Circus. Where I was, I didn't want to take that route. My lips have swollen up so much and I can't wait for them to go down because they do look big. But you know what? That's how it goes. Like That's how it goes. And if you guys are not new here, this is not my first time getting my lips done. I actually had my lips done, I think, a year ago and I just had my Cupid's bow. Today, I wanted to get a bit more. So that's how it goes. You start small, you start getting big. But today, I got my Cupid's bow and some in my top lip and a bit in the middle of my bottom lip. So when my lips go down and I start massaging it more, then I'll be fine. But you guys will see the finished real product probably the, the next vlog. Kind of in this vlog, you'll have it. I wanted to quickly show you two books that I received in a post today because obviously I'm getting to, I'm getting into my reading bag. Currently, I'm reading Yinka Where's Your Husband. I was reading Verity and I was reading It Ends With Us. Apparently, they have a movie coming out with It Ends With Us. So I can't wait to watch that. But yeah, I finished two books in a week and I've moved on to my third book, which is Yinka Where's Your Husband. But I'm not going to lie. I might stop reading it and move on to my next reading book. I've got two books here. Ordered Keisha the Skett. Now, if you know, you know this book is like English, just just like a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Londoner special. So I've got Keisha the Skett, which is this book. And then I also got Behind Closed Doors, which actually my American friend Gabby recommended this in her vlog. And I was like, you know what, if she's saying this is good, I'm gonna give it a read. So Behind Closed Doors. And I wanna read you the blurb actually, because she read me the blurb and I was like, you know what, this has sold me. This is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. It's definitely like a hooking drama book. So let me read you guys the blurb. Everyone knows a couple like, Jack and Grace. You might not want to like them, but you do. You like to get to know Grace better, but it's difficult because you realise they are never apart. Some might call this true love. Others might ask why Grace never answers the phone or can't meet for lunch without Jack. Why there are bars on one of the bedroom windows. Sometimes the perfect marriage is the perfect lie. I think this is the one I'm going to start reading when I get back today. Like I said, I am reading Yinka Where's Your Husband and it is really good, but because I've been waiting for Behind Closed Doors, I might have to put this book on pause, but I like the fact that I'm in my reading book bag. Chai. I like the fact that I'm in my reading book bag, so that's really good. I'm happy about that. I feel like I need to put some makeup here. If I see a WH Smith, then I will go inside and see what they have because reading has just been something for me. I'm going to see what's on offer and what they have to recommend. We will see, but yeah, let's go to Oxford Street. Let's see what they got. Like I said, I do want to go Zara and get that two-piece set. But we always see what I'm going to end up leaving with. And I want to smell some perfumes as well. And I think those are in Selfridges, so I'll see that when I get there. Okay, I made it to Oxford Street. Do you know what it takes to record vlogs when your lips just swell up like this? Like, it's so embarrassing. Like, I always say be confident and stuff, which I still mean. I'm not taking anything back. Hold up your camera. I ain't got a tripod today, so I'm actually holding the actual camera. Anyways, I'm going to Zara. Like I said, I want to get to see if I could get that pink set. I want to see if there's any new perfumes I could smell any new trainers i'm trying to change my style up so much but i'll see but that's what i'm going to do now i look so crazy with my lips like this <laughs> crazy but you know what it's gonna go down so i don't care anyone can look at me i don't care people are looking at me for two reasons the lips the camera and a bonus reason probably my outfit so yeah but let me go zara i'll do a montage when i need to So I've seen this two piece. How nice is this? Is it nice enough though? How many times can I wear this? This is giving vacation. It's like a knit material. It's like vacay. But it's so cute though. This is so cute. Large to extra large now. I get small to medium. Because obviously you don't want it to be too big. It's really nice though. And the shirt is $35.99. How much are the bottoms? The bottoms are $35.99. I think it's cute. But there's something, I don't know, I feel like, I don't know the colour, I feel like if it was creamer or even black, that would probably be better. But I like it though, especially on the model. That's really cute. I like it. But I don't like it enough. I don't know, should I try it on? I don't see the harm of trying it on. I'm probably going to try on a few things today anyway. They also got this dress that I've seen on TikTok on a girl. She was wearing these black Pradas. This is so nice. I need the one on the model though because they only have extra large and large. They have XL. XL too big. I know XL in this. Like, this is big. I need it to hug me. Yeah, they've only got XL, L, 
and it's stretchy so it's definitely not L. Oh, they have nothing. The girls have just literally rinsed this, it's gone. The thing though, this Zara on Oxford Street, it's got a long sales rack so definitely check this one out boy. But no, oh, I would want this. I'm probably gonna have to take a picture of the tag and see when it comes online. £30, that's good price, this is so nice. This will look so nice with like Air Forces or like white sandals. I really like it, but large is just too big. I want it to hug me. I need a medium or a small at least. We got jeans here for $9.99. Oh, I'm gonna have a look at these to see what they have. $9.99, let me see if they got my size. I think I'm a 34 in this, if it stretches. Let me have a look, let me have a look, boy. I don't even wanna be getting on in the camera, but let me see what they have here, cause $9.99, huh? So obviously, I picked up a bunch of things to try on. What I originally came here for, they don't have. I came here for that pink, two-piece set which is the top and the trousers they don't have that Tate, I've looked the whole shop floor they don't got it they have a white one though the white one is not what I really want like what I really want was the pink one so I'm just gonna order the pink one I've got like a bunch of clothes to try on so we're gonna do a little try on haul in the toilet I mean sorry I forgot what I was we're gonna do a little try on haul in the changing room <laughs> I think I said toilet I see a two-piece that I like which is shorts I'm trying to lean away from shorts I'm trying to go into the flare trousers straight trousers. I can't find any jeans either. I wanted to get some jeans. I don't see any jeans. That's annoying. I, I saw a pair of heels that I like. They're red, so I picked those up. I want to leave my stuff on the table. I hope nobody takes it, please. Because <laughs> downstairs is literally a fight. But let me quickly show you this two-piece. I've got this two-piece here. If I get it, I'm getting this cream color. But I need the top in a small. I really hope no one takes my clothes. Like, do I keep looking over at it? Let me get the top in a small. Is this a small? Yes small then let me get the bottoms in a small as well oh sorry get the bottoms in a small a medium oh. <laughs> ale, ale, ale. sorry i'm singing along to my music small yeah oh that's got a stain i don't want that one that looks hard to get out Ugh, what's that oh how's is this medium medium i have to do Imagine all this time medium fits me. Mm -hmm. This is the two piece that I want to get. It's like an off-white cream color. I really want it in a small bottoms though. Oh, they don't have any small bottoms. They got it in gray and they got it in dark color. I think the cream is cute. So I'm going to get this as well to try on as well as all the other stuff I have, which is all here. Like, you lot don't know. How long is that? Oh, the queue is long as well. Mm -mm. Let me go there because I don't really do much today. So let me go and try these items on. Made it into the changing room. And I want to show you guys the items that I quickly picked up. I probably won't try on all of them because it's looking like a lot of work, but I'm not going to lie to you. But first things first, I picked up that two piece. And this is going to be the first thing I try on right now. I really like it. I feel like it gives. In fact, let me not bother showing you guys. I'm going to try them on actually because why are you being lazy? Some of them I'm ready to try on. Some of them I'm like, why did I pick this up? But hey, we're trying on clothes today in Zara. So um, let's hope everything looks cute right now i feel like such a rich man's wife like i wish i wore loafers but i don't have any loafers i'm actually looking to get some loafers and um, obviously i could buy any type of loafers but i'm looking to get some laurel pianos like, girl i'm trying to really change up my whole style and even the things i got here it's like dresses and things like girl why are you always in some trousers and some tracksuits obviously i got a two-piece tracksuit though i did pick up one but anyway let me quickly try everything on and i'm gonna show you guys each piece I'm not being funny. You guys didn't tell me that this was tight. I mean, it's not tight, it's got room. But if you see the legs, excuse me, when did they, why are they swinging on me? I'm like five two. Unless they're supposed to be cropped, and I don't really understand why they're swinging on me. This is outfit number one, it's a no from me. Um, I do see the vision. The lighting's a bit bright, but I do see the vision but it's just not given, so we're gonna pass on the two-piece set that's like a knit cord, which is the first thing I saw. I've got the top on in an extra small and the bottoms on in a small. It does fit like it's stretchy. Let's not go and say, oh, it's too small, it's not. It fits, it's just the length. I just don't feel it. It's probably supposed to be like that, but it's just not my favorite. So with this denim dress, there's actually a rip at the back before I've even tried it on, but it was on sale for $5.99. And I feel like my mom could actually fix this and this can make her look. I've got these denim court heels that I'll show you guys later from Zara, which I've had for a while. I feel like I really go with this. I don't know if this will fit me though. I don't know, but we're gonna try it on and see. Oh, this doesn't even get over my hips, chat. Oh. <laughs> this doesn't even get on my hips. So yeah, this is a no from me, unfortunately. This, this would've been so cute as well. If you see the style of it, like, it's just a very simple bodycon, but it's so... This is a large as well, girl. You see, not everything is small or large. Like, I'm not even a 5X in this car. 
I mean, I understand why this can't fit me. This is an absolute winner for me. I got this in a large, it is some room. I do have it here in a smaller black, so I'm gonna try on a small. Small probably be too small, because here I'm already seeing it's a bit, you know. But this is a satin skirt. This is to go with loafers, my um, gazelles. Gazelles? Oh, sorry, sambas. I wanna get some Vega sneakers. Oh, this is so nice, yeah. I feel like I'll get dirty because it's cream. Maybe I should get the um, size medium in a black. But let me try on the black. This is a yes so far. Don't know if I really want it though. I plan to wear it with my Cassell tank top because I've got Cassell tank tops on the way. But like this, Cassell tank top, slippers, the vibes, do you know what I mean? So yeah, this is cute. This is really, really cute. But I wish it was a bit more fitted up here because it's giving seat down like, ooh, this is actually so nice. This is so nice. I wish you could see it properly for the material, like, it's so nice. All right, this is the, this, the black. I don't know why I went down so much. I, don't, I thought I picked up a medium, but it's a small. Doesn't fit, doesn't go up, but the large fits me. I think the medium will fit me though. But I don't wanna buy the medium and I don't wanna try it on again, but <laughs> yeah, this is a no. But I feel like the black is cute. Oh, this would be so nice if it was maxi, like super maxi. The cream is just a bit better in my opinion so this is the red dress it hasn't gone up all the way but i've slipped up most of the way and it will go up if i just have someone to do it for me the red dress i found it in the sales section this is the one i wanted i saw this on the website i was like ooh. obviously i wouldn't wear a bra because the bra is gonna show i really like it fitting me like it's proper on like wow but i wear it with i don't know court heels because you know court heels are my vibe now but well, i've always been my vibe to be honest but yeah this i think this is coming home with me i could size up though just for like the way it is like right here, I could size up. But I feel like it's on sale because it was in the sale pile and I saw a lamp for on sale. So I'm gonna go to the town and see how much it is. And if it's a good price, then I'll get it. If it's something like 49.99, this ain't no 49.99 worth dress. I ain't gonna get it for the 49.99. I feel like this is so nice. I really like it though. I really like it. I don't know what I wear it with though. I don't know what shoes, hair or whatever, but I really like it. And I love red. I love the way red looks on me like. I really like this. I love the ruffles at the front as well. I think that's the best part. Totally forgot to show you how this was looking on. This does not slap like. I've got the same thing in pink. Like you guys saw on my birthday. I literally have the same thing in pink. But when I tell you it does not look good in blue, I don't know what it is. Color theory is a real thing because the blue just doesn't look good on me like, at all. So this is not coming home with me. And I really like the pink as well. I really like the pink, but the blue, ugh. Blue looks good on me, but this blue, I don't know. It's like a teal. This just doesn't, it just doesn't do me any justice, babe. Let's try on the last few things, which is this pink top and a two-piece set. Two, this two-piece set is probably gonna look good, but let's see. This could work, this could work. Um, I probably need a bigger size, I got it in a medium. This could work, this could work, because this will look so good with that skirt, that silk skirt that I just um, put down. I don't know if I'll get it, but it's looking like I will, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, this pink shirt is really nice. It's just a light pink, which, oh, the style is just coming in nicely. But the thing is, I feel like I've seen this in H&M for like seven pound, and it's 18 pound here. So I'm like, mm, but it's really nice, I really like it. I feel like it will go well with that skirt. This is cute. Let me try on the two-piece, this is really cute. This is, this is nice. I just, uh, maybe I need a bigger size. I probably should've got a large. But this is it in the medium on me. It's good in the medium, to be honest. This is a winner. I, I originally came for that other white two-piece, but this one has showed me why I'm picking this one. It's like a quarter length, and like, it's really nice, because when I have like arm candy or jewelry on, I can wear it. And this will look so nice with my sambas or loafers or, this. I like this, I like this. I got it both in a medium, so that's what I'm wearing right now. Medium, it's a high neck type of vibe, and down here it's got something to tie. Yeah, this is definitely a yes. I think this and the skirt are the only two things, and the red dress. But the red dress, I need a bigger size. Like I, I know I like tight clothes, but I'm not trying to wear something too tight like that. That just doesn't make sense. It doesn't look, it doesn't look flattering as really, I think. So if I can get that in a size up, I think they have it online. I'm going to quickly check. I'll probably just get it ordered to the store or ordered home. Because that red dress, I really do like it. But I think for now, it's giving this set and the skirt. Like, oh, that's so nice. One thing I like about Zara, oh my God, my lips are so bruised. One thing I like about Zara is that you just put stuff in this little bucket thing here and it will just scan everything that's in your basket. As you can see, I've got all of this here and I'm gonna quick little thing. I've got two perfumes. I picked up two perfumes. I picked up Golden Decade, picked up Amber Satin. Never smell Amber Satin before, but it smells so good. So I was like, oh, I wanna get that. I have to buy a bag in Zara now. I know, I know people ain't buying no bag. I know they're stealing it, but it ain't me that's gonna get caught stealing 
and stealing a 10p bag at that. So I ain't doing all that. I want you guys to know, I don't think I'm going back to the Zara self-checkout again. Because this one, you have to remove the tags yourself. Like, you physically have to like, remove them yourself. I don't like all that. Because, imagine I forget. Like, what the hell? Imagine I forget, I get to outside and the people them calling me back and shouting at me and embarrassing me. I won't be coming back to self-checkout again. I mean, I knew this was here, but the last time I came, there was no tags. It's pretty simple. I need to give this wig a break. The wig is perfect. The hair is so good. It's like raw hair or virgin. I don't even know what hair it is, but just know the hair is really good. It holds a really good curl. But I've had this glueless wig on back to back now. It's starting to look like it needs like a break. It needs to be washed. It needs to be plucked again. It needs to just be on a break because right now I'm just feeling like it doesn't look good. My lips are swell. Looks like I've got a bruise and all. I probably do. But anyways, before I finish up today, I want to show you guys two perfumes I got from Zara. Obviously, I got the clothes as well, but I want to show you guys the perfumes. That's the main thing. The perfumes that I got, obviously, as you guys saw them when I was checking out. I got Amber Satin and Golden Decade. Now, I get them in these sizes because these fit perfectly in my bag. I don't really want the big one because... I don't I just don't want the big one. I used to buy big Zara perfumes, but I prefer buying my bigger bottles of my actual perfumes. The Zara scent, so these are more for my bag, but baby, this one, this one smells really nice. This is amber satin and how do I even tell you what it smells like? Okay, so it says, a statement of sophistication that has both sensuous and enchanting. Basically smells like I can't even tell you. Let me try and tell you right now. Oh, wow. I can't tell you what it smells like, but trust me, this one is staying in my bag. Oh, it smells expensive. It smells like Tonka, Myrrh, Vanilla. Oh, it smells like a oud. If I'm being honest, it smells like a oud. That's what it smells like. It smells very, very nice. And then I also got the Golden Decade, which I've smelled like 10 million times. I think I got a Zara fragrance in my bag. I'm not sure which one I have. Let me imagine it's this one because I feel like I smelled this before. Look at that. In my bag, I had Zara Golden Decade. I didn't even know. So basically, I got a refill of the one that was in my bag. This one smells really good. I didn't even know it was the same thing. I didn't even realize that I got the same thing, but. I was thinking like I've smelled this 10 million times but I've never actually picked up but I did pick up the last time I went to Zara. Trust me, these, this one, oh, it smells so good. I think Amber Satin is probably my new fave. I probably might buy that in a big bottle as well. But yeah, I'm home now. I need to take off this wig and put my bonnet on. Wash my face, I need to massage my lips as well because obviously when your lips are swollen and you've had filler, you need to massage it to make it go down. Um, drink some pineapple, some pineapple tablets. I've got that as well, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat as well. I picked up some wasabi. By the way, if you guys didn't know, you guys know I love wasabi and I love the salmon roll. They discontinued that, so I had to get the bang bang chicken roll with the sweet and sour chicken bento box, but that's what I got going on right now. Also, I got some new books, like I told you, so I'm gonna start reading it. Probably gonna read a bit of you later, and I got a new journal which I'm going to talk about later on, and a pen, which is so, so cute. But anyways, yeah, girl, I'm in such a good mood. I'm back home. Let me take off this wig because I just feel like, I feel like I've rinsed it too much. Maybe I need to put on a different wig. I haven't been wearing this one back to back because I have a middle part wig. I have a lot of wigs. I have a lot of wigs. Don't underestimate me. When I'm doing their wig reviews, you think I sell them wigs. Them wigs are under my bed in a box. I got a fat box under my bed where all my wigs are. Girl, don't try to put my book, you know. She going all by the book. Trying to give it a little rip up. She too, she too savage for me. I'm in a good mood, so yeah. Oh, I think I got my running glasses in the post. I'm not sure, but we gonna speak later because I need to freshen up, girl. I'm feeling just, ugh. I have the best sushi finds. This sushi from Wasabi, obviously I had added the spicy mayo and I had added soy sauce. So if you order, it's not gonna be like that for you. This sushi, obviously if you didn't know, I was literally obsessed with Wasabi at one point and I was always going there and getting the spicy tuna roll. But now they have a new one, which is Bang Bang Chicken Dragon Roll. When I tell you, so good. Like I'm putting you guys on. If you've not tried it, it's from Wasabi. Bang Bang Chicken Dragon Roll, ah, oh. mmm, mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-mm, -mm. it's so good, so good, anyway, I gave my lips a massage, and when I say my lips are swollen up, like, even more, <laughs> that looked crazy, but obviously, I'm just being transparent with you guys, this is how it is, 
come two days now swelling gone lips plump anyway i'm gonna start reading my book this is the same book as earlier behind closed doors by ba paris i'm gonna take some pineapple tablets for the swelling and yeah to put you on this this sushi bang bang chicken dragon roll from wasabi i think it's at five pound not sure how many pieces are in there but it's worth it to be honest next time i'm gonna buy two I ain't gonna hold you anyways yeah i put the spicy spicy um mayo i don't like mayonnaise but the spicy mayo from sriracha that sriracha brand is the only one i use because any other one is disgusting and then some soy sauce on it obviously it comes with soy sauce so yeah the spicy mayo though like when you add that on there <laughs> it's so good like I, you know i never say you guys wrong when it comes to food i feel like i got really good taste when it comes to food but trust me oh my gosh it's really good let me tell you what's in it bang bang chicken dragon roll seasoned cooked white sushi rice fried chicken mixed with sweet and spicy sauce with sweetener and mayo cucumber pickled asian slaw chives wrapped in nori seaweed coated with black sesame seeds topped with crispy onions if that don't sound good i don't know if you don't like sushi then that makes sense but if you do like sushi or you want to get into sushi because i know some people don't like it but they want to get into it try this one first wasabi fiver you can't go wrong if it's nasty then throw it in the bin but if it's nice then you know i got, I put you on but yeah this is what i'm gonna eat for dinner tonight i just want to say good night i'm gonna read my book i'll give you an update on my book tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna write in my new journal that i got i got a new journal and a new pen really pumped for that and like i said i got running glasses i think my running kit is supposed to come tomorrow as well so we'll see when that comes but on that note me and my swollen lips and my swollen chin as you can even see we are going to sleep. I look so crazy, but I ain't gonna give you guys some false stuff and, oh, when I came out, my fillers was flat and no. You're gonna swell up and look mad. You're gonna look mad. Especially if you do mad things. But, girl, I'm eating my sushi because I am hungry, baby. I am starving. Starving, starving, starving. Girl, I woke up and it never gave show you guys my lips today obviously it was swell up yesterday but the level of swell up is today it never gave show you guys i can't lie so i am ending up the vlog earlier than expected because i can't keep a mask on for the rest of the vlog i know people vlog with masks on but it just doesn't make sense so i am ending up the vlog here but i did want to tell you guys that the book i started reading yesterday which is behind closed doors by ba paris I'm, I'm i'm still on chapter one the chapters are quite big i'm still on chapter one but i'm already seeing like okay why is jackson controlling over grace yeah grace why is jackson controlling over grace like why everything that grace does she always looks to jack for approval why isn't jack what sorry why isn't grace going to the little woman's brunch thing day date with her friends like what's going on so i see why gabrielle actually recommended this so i'm gonna give it a good read today hopefully in the next vlog i could get like halfway so i can actually give you guys a proper update that's what's going on with the book also i got this new journal that i wanted to show you guys it's so cute it says keep on going never give up so you know me i'm always about the never give up thing so yeah and then i got a nice little pen as well that has my name it says Miss Angeline Cause. Obviously, I told them to write that, but they put the 66 and, and, and them things on it. Like, that's not what I wanted. I don't know why they put my name in speech marks. Obviously, I put my name in speech marks when I sent it to them because I needed them to see that it's Miss Angeline Cause that I want you to put. But they put the speech marks. But anyway, I think the pen is really cool. Let me show you up close. Like, I think having customised things just, like, it just, you know, it gives you, like, that effect. Like, you that girl. Like, this is so nice. So I got this now. This is my new journal. This one is just, like, pages to write on. There's not, like, any questions in there, like my other journal. I like this journal a lot. But, yeah, and it came with a little, like, little bag to put the pen in obviously i won't be using it because the journal has like a little slot for the pen so that's cool the last thing i wanted to show you guys was these running glasses and baby these are so cute like i can't wait to be in my running era i think today my running vest comes so that's gonna be cute i really hope that my running vest has water bottles in there because that's what i ordered it for but these are so cute like oh and then yesterday when i went shopping i also saw the on cloud sneakers but they didn't have the colorway that i like so i didn't even bother i really want to get them on clouds or some hoka trainers so i could start running properly being that running babe do you get it see there are there are a few fitness things that i do like pilates yoga etc but i'm trying to be full force like i know you see that collarbone coming through like hello look at the shoulders like they're forming do you get so yeah i really want to be a 
running, babe. And that, I feel like running will really tone my back, my arms, and my legs. My legs are quite toned. I don't have jiggly legs. But, um, you know, just get that muscle just, like, forming a lot more. So... I want to work on that. But anyways, on and I want to say love you and leave you. Feed you guys in the next vlog. I'm so sorry I'm cutting it short. But to be honest, when I checked my footage on my editing app, there's sufficient footage. So enjoy. I hope you guys like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Talk to me in the comments. Let's just. On that note, if you love me, I love you. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.